Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to sync audio with video that's done from a, a set where they've shot a movie. This, in this instance is a short film. And the short film was shot pretty standard in a very standard way where the camera is the, is the recorder that picks up just the footage, it doesn't pick up the audio. And then the audio, and then you have a sound department that is recording the audio that's booming, that has wireless mics or whatever they're using. Uh, they're recording the audio. So this is a short film here. Uh, called Hush Little Baby that, that was shot and I've imported the footage. I've got the, the footage that I brought in here is actually proxy footage. So if you watch my previous episodes, I shot a proxy. As an editor, I've been delivered the, the, the visuals here. We got all, all the footage. It's a very short film. It takes place in one location. So it's basically a single scene short film. And then in another folder here, I've got the audio. This is the audio right here. And this was all the audio that was recorded uh, along with the camera. This is called sync sound. So sync sound is when a sound department on set is recording the sound along with the camera recording the footage at the same time. And they use a slate to sync those things up later on. Uh, and by slate, I mean this. Let's go to our footage folder here. Oh, you, each one of these uh, thumbnails here has a slate in front of it. And it's got a specific uh, scene number and take number on both of these here. Uh, so we're going to use those numbers there. And when they record the audio separate, so the visuals here... What you'll see at the beginning of each shot, now that if it's done properly, the very first frame of each individual take take will have the slate in front of it. That's the first thing that you see. This is the very beginning of the clip and it's the slate. They hold the slate in front of the camera, they hit record and start recording. So here we've got uh, the number scene 1B here, 1 Bravo, take 2. So uh, as we play through this, they, use the, they will slot, clap the slate together and that visual right there, right where that thing claps right there, that is the visual. You get it right on that exact frame right there where it shuts and that is going to be the visual where, where, that you use to line up with the audio. So now if we look at the audio for scene 1B, take 2. Let's go down here. And it's this one right here we're going to load. Uh, right before, while the, the camera is running, the audio is running at the same time. The audio department is recording their audio at the same time. And we'll play through this. Scene 1, bravo, take 2. And you hear the, the second AC say, scene 1, bravo, take 2. And then afterwards, you have a clap mark. And that little clap is where we will get that right to the frame of this clap here right there and that's where we're going to uh, put our endpoint on both these clips to sync them up and sync them into uh, one video clip with both the audio and video sync that can be sent to the editor and then the, and, and this is usually the job of what they call an assistant editor the assistant editor will do the uh, syncing of all the audio they'll merge them together into one clip and then deliver them to the editor so the editor can just start editing the movie so let's start doing that so first of all i am going to create a timeline here i'm going to grab one of my clips here and drag it over into my timeline and generate a timeline. I can get rid of that now. Delete that clip out of there. Here's my timeline that's generated. I'm going to grab that and drag it to the left until that little no symbol disappears right there off the hand. It's like a hand that's grabbing here. And the, the, the icon is a hand grabbing, like a hand gripping, and then you have that little no symbol on it. it means it's not going to do anything, but if you drag it over here, it's going to drag it out of the folder. Now, if I collapse this folder, there is my timeline there. It's named after the clip. I'm going to hit return and call synced footage because we're going to sync all that footage with the audio together here. Now I'm going to uh, arrow down and get my footage here. I'm going to select the first clip, and I want to select everything in between, so I'll hold down Shift, and then holding down Shift to click on the bottom one, it selects everything in between. Now, you, if you want to put this in order that it was shot, you have to grab the first one. Don't grab the last one and drag that in, or it will put them in, uh, in reverse. So I'm going to grab the top one, drag that in, and drop it right here. And now I have uh, them all in my timeline. I'm going to hit the uh, backslash above my return key, uh, which uh, shows your entire timeline. I want to do Shift plus will bring the, my track height up a little bit. We can even bring it up a little higher here uh, just so we could see the thumbnail at the beginning of each clip. I'm gonna hit plus, plus, plus to zoom up a little bit on my uh, timeline. And now I'm gonna start syncing this audio and video here. I'm gonna go to my audio folder. I assume that the first one here uh, is going to be the very first clip. Let's go take a look at it. And this looks like it's only seven seconds. That's probably uh, just audio that they were testing. So I'm gonna get rid of that, hit delete and go to the next one. Double click on this. And now I'm going to listen to the audio here. Now, this is when they did the first take. You can barely hear it. It's very soft. Uh, but th later on, they start huffing the mic at, uh, aimed toward the, the, the person running the slate, though. But now I'm going to arrow to the right here. I'm going to get right before it, and I'm going to arrow to the right until I hear a loud clap right there. Right there. I can hear that loud clap, and I'm going to hit I for endpoint. Now I'm going to go to my footage, and I'm going to go to that. Now I'm going to go to my timeline where my footage resides here, and I'm going to play through this. I'm going to forward through this by hitting LLL, so keep fast forwarding until they do the clap. There's the clap. I'm going to hit J to rewind, and same thing, I want to get a couple frames before this, 
I'm arrowing backwards right now. I'm hitting the arrow, left arrow to go backwards one frame at a time, and then the arrow go, arrow right goes uh, forward one frame at a time. Arrow forward and right there, that's the first frame where that uh, where that sync marker is hitting. I'm going to hit I for endpoint, and I've got an endpoint on the audio, endpoint on the video, and I'm going to hit period to drop that into my timeline. Drops into the timeline, and now this audio is synced up. And there's one line in here, the way the guy sits up. He's got the baby that's supposed to be crying on the monitor, and then he sits up. All right. Playing and seals lips, and that matched up there. So now the audio is synced. What, what I want to do is just to be nice to my editor here is I'm going to grab this pre-roll and drag it backwards and make it match the length of the video. And the audio ended before the video, so I'm going to grab my video and drag that back and make it all the exact same length. I'm going to arrow down, hit D to select the letter D to select that space. Right where your playhead is, it selects where, where your playhead is. And then I'm going to hit the small delete key on the keyboard, and it will ripple delete and pull the clip, the next clip, close to this one here. So let's try that again. I'm going to go to my timeline, set an endpoint for my next clip right here, and this and the slate, this kind of bad slating there that they were kind of learning on this one. But I'm going to arrow over and try to get right there, as I can finally see that slate barely clap right there. So that that is the point. A good AC will hold the the slate still and let the arm fall and clap where you can see the whole thing. And I'll show some instances of that here as well. So I'm going to hit I for endpoint on my timeline, my audio, grab the next clip. I assume this is the next clip here. Let's listen to this. So this looks like it's the clap marker right there. So this is where they say, Someone take one mark. And here's the, here's the mark. You can hear it say scene one, take two marker there. And I'm going to move over arrow, arrow to the right till I hear the click right there. I for endpoint, period to drop it into the timeline. Just test that to make sure it matches. Watch his lips. All right. Yep, those match. So that's a good match, sure. I'm going to trim this backwards. I'm going to trim my video backwards as well. Get everything the same light. I can select the space, hit delete, and bring them together there. So, Okay, so I've done a few here, and I wanted to get to a point where I can show you like a good proper slate here. And this is an example of a good proper slate where you see the entire slate in the shot, and you can hear them speak clearly as well. So I'm going to play into this here. So same process, right, right, when, right when she slates here, I'm going to... And now we can see that whole thing, the whole slate there. You can see the arm fall and clap right there. So I hit I for endpoint, nice and clear in the in the shot there. Scene one alpha, take two. And in this one with the audio, they were also putting the mic toward the AC as well. Uh, this AC being the assistant camera, and you can hear the audio clearly. So here it is. Scene one alpha, take two. And right there was the clap, arrow back a couple frames, and I'm going to arrow forward. Right there, I hear the clap. Hit the I for endpoint, period, to drop it into the timeline. And now trim these tracks here to get them to match. Select the blank space and hit delete. And let's see if it matches. And let's see if the audio matches now. Thanks for what? I hear her line, thanks for what? And, the, and uh, that matched up perfectly. So I'm going to continue doing this. This is the first step here. I've got the rest of this footage to do. So I'm going to go through and do the rest of this. Keep well, do it, doing the exact same process here for, until the end. And then I will come back and show you what we've got. Okay, so I've got everything synced now. Uh, and you'll notice there's a gap over here. And what those shots were here is they did something called MOS. MOS is basically minus optical sound. Some people joke that it means uh, meet out sound. They said it comes from, the rumors is it came from like a German director that would say it that way. So they just started writing it that way. Um, but when they shoot without sound, when they don't need sound, or there's no dialogue, it's just like, and this is just the opening shot here. So we play through this. This is just the open reveal for the beginning of the movie here. Uh, so it's just them in bed, and, and the the sound for this is just going to be them snoring. They'll get sound effects and put in there of the snoring and of the uh, the baby monitor buzzing, the ambient noise, and the music, whatever else is going to go in there. So these ones are MOS, so they do not have any sync sound with them, just the, just the ones that you see down here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start syncing these together. I'm going to zoom up on this, hit plus, plus, plus a couple times on my keyboard, and I'm going to zoom up, and we're going to start merging these. So I'm at the very beginning, I've hit the home key. If you're like somewhere in the middle of the timeline, you can hit the home key and it jumps to the beginning and we'll jump to the end of the timeline, home jumps to the beginning. And now wherever my playhead is, you can hit the letter D as in Doug and it selects wherever the playhead is. So I selected both the audio and the video there and now we can right click on this and say merge clips. Merge clips will put these together and put them over here inside of your project window. So I'm just going to name this after the name of the shot number, which is scene one, take one. So I'm going to just write shorthand is going to be one space T1. That means scene one, take one. Some people like to write S before this. You can do that if you like to. I don't like it. It's just I see these. I'm used to it. I just know it. scene one, T1 basically means scene one, take one. So I'm going to hit OK. 
And each one of these numbers is a different setup. So scene one is a setup that they did, I think, like three different times. Let's take a look. We've got take one, take two, take three. They did this three times and got it right on the third time. So I'm going to arrow up to this one here and be on scene one, take two. I'm going to hit letter D and I'm going that selects both of those. And I can uh, now I can right click on these and say merge clips here. And I'm going to just type in one space T2 for scene one, take two. Now, one thing that I like to do, there's not a shortcut for merging clips, unfortunately, It's but you can easily make one. So I'm going to go under Premiere Pro here, and I'm going to go under Keyboard Shortcuts, and it brings up this shortcut window here. Now I can type in here uh, the, the the word Merge, and it'll bring up uh, the Merge Clips right there. That's the shortcut that I want, but you'll notice there's no shortcut here. So what I can do is I can just click right here under Shortcut in this space, go click, and it makes this little box here, and it's waiting for me to type in a prompt uh, to make, create the shortcut here. I don't want to replace any of my other shortcuts. So I'm just, one shortcut that's not used in Premiere is Command, Option, G. I'm holding down Command and Option. You can see that's showing that I'm holding them down right now. So see, watch, watch over here, Command. See, it shows Command, and now I'm going to hold that Option. Now it says I'm holding down Command plus Option. And on a PC, you could do Control, Alt, and then I hit G, the letter G. So I'm holding down Command, Option, and I hit G, and I'll program that as my shortcut for Merge. On a, on a PC, if I do this, I like to do Control, Alt, to G. So I'm going to go over and hit OK, and that's programmed in there now. So I'm going to now I can hit letter the letter D and do uh, Command Option G, and now it brings up the merge window. And now I can type in Scene One, Take Three, and hit Return, and it puts it down here. Now these are the merge clips that it's putting down here over my project window. Let's do one more here, and then I'll show you another another issue we're going to run into. I'm going to arrow down. So I'm arrowing up. Arrow up jumps to the left, to edits to the left, and arrow down jumps to edits to the right. So now I'm on my next take here. I'm going to hit D, and this is uh, scene 1A, take 1. I'm going to do Command Option G, and I'm going to type in 1A, T, 1, like that. Hit OK, and maybe one more, and then we'll move on here. So, and 1A, take 2. So D to select, Command Option G to merge, 1 alpha T, 2. Hit Return, and it puts it down here. Okay, I'm going to keep merging these until I get to the MOS shots here. So I'm going to finish emerging all these, and then I'll get to this point and show you what we do there, because there's no audio to merge, so I'll show you what we do to rename them for the editor. Okay, I've gotten to the point where I've merged uh, basically all these clips right here. I'm just going in an order, and I've reached the MOS clips. So if you reach MOS clips, and you don't want, and uh, there's nothing, no audio to sync, but you want to rename them and put them in, uh, over here in the project window uh, for the editor, this is just an easy way to do this. I'm just going to grab this clip. I'm going to drag it over and hover over the project window with that clip. Now I'm going to hold down Command, or it would be Control on a PC. And now without letting go of Command or Control, I let go of my mouse, and it brings up this little message here to make a subclip out of it. And it's saying, what do you want to name this? So now I can type in the name 1ET1, hit Return, then arrow down to the next clip, hit the letter D, grab the clip, drag it over, and hover over the project window, hold down Command or Control on a PC, and while holding that down, let go of the mouse and don't let go of control or command. And it brings up the subclip and I can type in 1ET2. And also, if you want to be all about doing shortcuts and you don't want to have to drag that all the way over like I just did there where I grabbed it and dragged it all the way over, uh, the shortcut for that would be you hit D to select it and then you hit Command U. And that would be Control U on a PC and that is a create subclip shortcut. So I hit Command U and then I'll type in the name on the slate, which is 1ET3. Hit return, hit go back to my timeline, shift three to jump back to my timeline, arrow down, go to the next uh, clip here, and hit the letter D to select, command U to bring up with the subclip, and now this one is 1FT1. Hit return, there we go. So I'm gonna continue doing these last couple here. These are gonna be regular sync and merge ones here with the audio files, and then we're gonna come back and show you the next step. All right, so now I've done all my merging, but I've merged the last two clips. I have subclipped all my MOS files, I've merged all those there, and everything has moved over into my project window. So I'm going to move over here and hit the tilde key to make this full screen. And the last part that I'm going to do to organize this for the editor is I'm going to grab all these synced clips right here. I'm going to hold down Shift and select all the synced clips, and I'm going to drag this down and hover over the folder here and drop it in a folder, and it puts all of them in a bin or a folder. And now I can call this Scene 1 Edit. And that's what I'm going to deliver to the editor. If I had other scenes, if I had scene two, three, four, I would organize, I would do the exact same thing, and there would be a scene folder for each individual scene that contains the clips just for that scene. And like I said, this is just a short film that has just one scene in it, basically, uh, from beginning to end. So everything's just going to be in that folder. Oops, I noticed I misspelled synced. 
So what I usually do to clean up stuff for the editor is I will grab all this footage right here. I will right click and I'll put that in. You can right click and put it into a new folder and just call this miscellaneous. All the footage that I've used and I don't need anymore, I'll just put it in a miscellaneous folder. So now I've got my scene one folder here ready to edit. I'm gonna close my synced footage window, my synced footage timeline. That's Command W or Control W on a PC. Closes that timeline. And now I'm going to create a timeline for my scene one here. And since this is just one timeline here, I'm gonna drag it out again. And since it's just one timeline that I'm doing for the whole movie, I'll just call this Hush Little Baby Final Edit. Something like that. I can delete that first clip out of it, and now I'm ready to go and start editing. I'm gonna double click on my scene folder. I'm gonna go into icon mode. And now I can start choosing uh, the footage that I wanna start editing with. Well, that's it for this episode that shows you how to sync and merge audio. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to start editing. If you're editing a film, we will get into what's called the assembly edit, which is the first step in getting your movie completely edited.